Hello, my name is Ernesto Bermudez Curie, and this is my chemistry project on medicinal properties of radium. For this presentation, the main objective of this work is to inform about the medicinal properties of radium and its use from the point where it was first discovered from the present day. The research conducted will be focused from a scientific and chemical point, with the mention of some non medical uses. The points to cover are what is radium, early commercial uses, modern life uses, medicinal properties and use, and others' attempts to use radium as a medicine. Now, we'll quickly cover the question of what is radium. Radium is a chemical element with the symbol Ra and an atomic number of 88. It was discovered by Madame Marie Curie and her husband Pierre Curie on the 21st of December of 1898. The naming of radium is dated around 1899 from the French word radium, which is formed by the Latin radius, this one's meaning ray, and is used due to radium's power of emitting energy in the form of rays. Among its chemical properties, we can find that it is the heaviest alkaline earth metal. It is the only radioactive member of its group. It possesses a melting point in either 700 Celsius degree or 960 Celsius degree and its boiling point is at 1037 Celsius degree. It possesses a density of 5.5 grams per cubic centimeters. In its early commercial uses, radium was a well-known self-luminous paint using watches, nuclear panels, aircraft switches, clocks, and instrument dials. The regular self-luminous watch included around 1 gram of radium. Around the 60s, the use was discontinued being replaced in this industry by promethium and tritium, both radioactive too, yes, but these were much, much more safer. Radium, being a radioactive material, was very dangerous and prejudicial for the health of the people working with it. And one of the most known examples of the danger of working with radium at the time was the case of the radium girls during the 20s. These girls were dire painters that licked their brushes to give them a fine point. The exposure and ingestion presented health issues like anemia, sores, and bone cancer. The bone cancer was caused because when the radium is ingested, the body treats it like calcium and depositis in the bone, making the cells mutate. And even the radium was still used until the 60s, there were no more major health issues reported. Also, radium was once an additive in products such as toothpaste, hair creams, and even food items due to its supposed curative powers. Such products of course soon fell out and were prohibited by authorities in many countries when it was discovered they could have serious adverse health effects. But in the United States, nasal radium irradiation was administered to children to prevent middle ear problems or enlarged tonsils from the late 40s to the early 70s. Now we will cover the modern life uses outside from the medical industry. So there are very few uses from radium today and some of the modern day uses of radium are based on these radioactive properties. Also, most recently discovered radioisotopes have been used since there are more powerful emitters, safer to handle and available in a more concentrated form. But it is still used as a radiation source in some industrial radiography devices to check for flawed metallic parts as if it was an X-ray. But in a major part of the industry, radium has been replaced by some other radioactive isotopes that add that are hazardous for life. Modern day medicinal properties and uses. Being a radioactive element, the health effects of radium are mostly negative. It is highly radiotoxic and carcinogen by inhalation, ingestion, or exposure. The isotope 223 radium, under the trade name Sofigo, formerly alpharadine, was approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration in 2013 for use in medicine as a cancer treatment of bone metastasis, as a radiopharmaceutical treatment that takes advantage of its chemical similarity to calcium and the short range of the alpha radiation it emits. Also, radium-223 is naturally formed in trace amounts by the decay of uranium-235. It is generally made artificially. The pharmaceutical products and medical use of radium-223 against skeletal metastasis was invented by Roy H. Larsen, Guillermo Henriksen, and Uvind S. Bronland, and has been developed by the former Norwegian company Algita ASA 
in partnership with Bayer, who lately bought the Adita ASA company, so now the only distributor is just Bayer. It's distributed as a solution containing radium-223 chloride, sodium chloride and other ingredients for intravenous injection with a preferred treatment regimen of 6 doses of 55 kilobecquerel per kilogram, repeated at a 4 weeks interval. Previous attempts to use radium in medicine, now this will be focused on the use of radium on the 20th century. Radium, usually in the form of radium chloride or radium bromide, was used in medicine to produce radon gas, a naturally occurring radioactive gas that can cause lung cancer, and it was ironically used as a cancer treatment. Several of these radon sources were used in Canada in the 20s and 30s. However, many treatments that were used at the beginning of the past century involving radium were not used anymore because of the harmful effects that its exposure caused. Early in the 20th century, biologists used radium to introduce mutation and study genetics to determine whether it could provoke sudden large mutation and cause major evolutionary shift. Many patients seeking for a treatment for their cancer died for their excessive exposure to radium they were taken from their treatment at the beginning of the past century. Luckily, these practices have been eliminated with time and safer and more available radioisotopes are being used instead. So, conclusions of this work. As you can see to this presentation, since the discovery radium is a controversial element, the misinformation and the little knowledge about it was one of the main causes of very bad decisions about it, whether in a medical or a commercial field, it always leaves a trace of health issues. It is a dangerous element due to the highly radioactive characteristics that it possesses, and luckily it has been replaced with other elements that are safer to handle. Today, its use is regulated because we already learned the true danger of radiation, something that was very popular in the past, despite its danger, but it was at the time not very, not very known. The radium-223 is still being evaluated for other medical applications, and now all seems to indicate that it will be continued to be used as a cancer treatment. Now I have a couple of questions for the viewer of this presentation. And I would like to know if before the before my presentation they knew about all the modern uses of radium. The radium girls case that I know this is very famous, even has a movie and a documentary about it. Uh, the use of 223 of radium 223 as a treatment for cancer and the past medicinal mistakes with radium. I would also like to thank to anyone who take the time to view my presentation and of course my teacher, Professor Sanchez, for giving me the opportunity of making this exposition about the medicinal properties of radium.